You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. Well, for many of us, for the first time this season, seeing some snow flurries in the air today. This is the view in Anchorage. You can see that sun trying to peek through at times, but also those clouds lowering as some showers move through. Nothing that accumulated or stuck to the ground uh, as temperatures were really too warm for that anyway. And not a lot of moisture with this storm, but again, some flurries flying across the region. To our south, this is what it looks like up over Turnigan Pass. You can see completely dry road conditions there. Really a beautiful fall scene there tonight. Also seeing those dry roads as you head up the Glen Highway uh, into the valley, seeing dry roads there over the Palmer Bridge. But once you move out into the Copper River Basin, this morning we started out with snow and ice in this area. Now you can see dry, bare pavement as you head up over Gunsight Mountain. A lot of snow on the sides of the roads. Also still seeing some of that wintry mix coming down in Fairbanks. You can see some slushy road conditions there for the evening commute right in the heart of Fairbanks. A little bit further to the north, some heavier snow. Still sort of that wet, sloppy snow that we're seeing, but uh, no doubt scenes of winter showing up more and more here across the state. Uh, not in southeast, though. I'm so happy to report that we are getting a break from the more uh, extreme conditions in southeast. This is what it looks like right now in Ketchikan. Yeah, it's cloudy, uh, but not seeing the heavy rain or the high winds like we saw there yesterday. Now we are still seeing active conditions here across the state. Some light snow continues for the slope where temperatures are sitting there just below that freezing mark. It's been pretty quiet down the west coast, uh, but through the Aleutians, we are going to see a change in the weather pattern later this week. So I want to break this down for you. Two storm systems impacting the state tonight. That's what's supplying the snow to the slope and those showers that we're seeing here in south central. Now these current storms, they are weakening. There's just really not much left to them. Snow will continue on the slope tomorrow. Uh, we'll continue to see those isolated wintry mix showers here across South Central tonight. Uh, so don't be surprised if we see a quick burst of snow even overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. But it's these two storm systems here into the Pacific that uh, have quite a bit more strength to them and they are going to definitely impact our weather here in the coming days. This area of low pressure out west, that is what is bringing the high winds to the Aleutians high wind warnings in effect uh, for the west and central Aleutians. We're talking high winds Wednesday and Thursday moving from west to east 40 to 60 miles per hour with gusts as high as 80 miles per hour. So something that you need to be prepared for there in the central and western Aleutians. Now for the wetter conditions that we're going to see in southeast and the Gulf Coast Thursday, that's from this area of low pressure here to the south. That's going to move in uh, really once we get into late tomorrow night continuing to Friday, uh, and that's when we'll see increasing chances for that wintry mix across the region. Locally, again tonight, it's just isolated showers, but you'll see as that moisture moves in from the south Thursday, that's when we really start to see more widespread chances for those showers. In southeast, though, really should be a nice Wednesday for you. You'll see some sunshine through the afternoon, high temperatures back into the low to mid 50s. Across the interior, it's light snow showers, really just the dusting there. Still seeing another one to three in inches of snow for the slope tomorrow. Pretty quiet out west, some light snow showers in Nome, you know, and eventually seeing those showers pushing in late in the day into Gamble. Quiet in Bethel, sunny in Dillingham, through the Aleutians, pretty quiet weather conditions on the east side begin out west. That's when those high winds and heavy rain is going to move in. We'll see just chances for those isolated showers near Seward tomorrow. Wet still across Prince William Sound, drier into the Cop River Basin. Still a chance for an isolated wintry mix shower in Wasilla and in Palmer. In Anchorage, we could see that here as well, especially overnight tonight and then again tomorrow night. Also, decent chances for seeing that down turning an arm and into Girdwood could see some brief snow overnight tonight. Again, chances for that wintry mix through the end of the week, but I do want to point out one thing. Highs near 39 degrees tomorrow. Look at the end of the week into next week, mid 40s. So we are warming as that next storm system moves in. That means we change from that wintry mix to just regular rain by early next week.